I am so thrilled to be here and see how many folks are interested in Frederick in going green. This is a great event. I've been here every year, uh, and it's wonderful to see it getting larger and larger and larger. There has never been a better time to go green. And for all the reasons that the, the senator said, for, for jobs, for security, for our environment, going green is critical. I know that virtually everything has been said, but not everyone has said it, so I will be, be go quickly. I just want to make sure the folks who are listening to me today know there's a whole bunch of incentives out there, uh, a number of them led uh, by our congressional delegation through the Federal Stimulus Act, federal tax incentives, and a number of them have been led by uh, the O'Malley-Brown administration to go green. I want to make sure folks are aware of them. If you're a business, the Maryland Energy Administration offers low-cost loan, 2% loans, to retrofit your, your business to save energy. You can also get up to $50,000 for putting on a mid-sized solar or renewable system at your business. If you're a farmer, we've got programs to pay incentives for implementing energy efficiency measures. If you're a homeowner, we've got incentives for buying uh, energy efficient appliances. We've partnered with Allegheny to offer incentives for doing retrofits of your house up to $1,000. If you're interested in renewable systems, the folks next door today can tell you the amount of money you can save by going renewable, and the state can pay you up to $10,000 for renewable systems at your homes. If you're looking for a career change, we've partnered with the community college system. You can get certified to become an energy retrofitter and take advantage of this, uh, this surging industry. And then finally, if you're interested in any of the wonderful cars that are being exhibited here today, we've made a big push uh, this last session for uh, Maryland to go electric. If we've got a new law that Governor O'Malley just signed so that electric cars will be able to use the HOV lanes, you're able to get a $2,000 tax credit uh, to, for the excise tax, and I'm uh, pleased to tell you that in the next several weeks, the Maryland Energy Administration is going to partner with entities around the state using stimulus money uh, to build the first round of infrastructure for electric vehicles around the state. So you can buy an electric car as they come out in the fall the next year knowing you're going to be able to charge them around the state. But before I leave, I just want to say a quick thanks. Uh, this is the uh, first opportunity that I've had to see uh, Delegate Sue Heck since she announced that she's going to be retiring from the State General Assembly. She's been a huge force in Annapolis, a huge leader on going green, the organizer of the Green Caucus, a champion for solar power. Uh, she's going to be sorely missed by many people, including myself, in Annapolis. Uh, but I think her legacy lives on as we all take measures and steps to go green. So thank you so much. And thanks everyone here for going green.